Hey y'all, this is the Oklahoma Grammy. Today I'm going to make you a homemade, old school style pepperoni pizza. Now I'm going to use uh, pre-made uh, pizza crust and everything so it doesn't take that long. So I hope that you will stay with me and you'll follow along. First, I have my half sheet pan that I've lightly sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. We're going to use two cans of pizza dough. We have a 23 and a half ounce jar of pizza sauce. We're not going to use all of it. We have pepperoni pizza slices and we have some mozzarella cheese. So what we're going to do, you're going to have to heat your, if you have a nonstick cook, cookie sheet, um, you could use that and set your oven at 400. If you don't have a nonstick cookie sheet, you need to heat your oven to 425 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to open our cans. going to pop our pizza dough out. And we're going to unroll it. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of just stretch it. Don't don't try to uh, pull it sideways. Just kind of just you know, it a it a go. It will it will stay. Uh, once you do that, we're going to do the other one, and we're going to lay it beside this one. Now you can pre-make your own dough if you would like, but this is kind of faster. It helps, uh, you know, for mommies and daddies, aunts, uncles, grammys, grandpas. You know, if we need to get food on the table a little bit quicker, maybe you've been out, uh, you know, you've been working or something, or out shopping, this is an easy way of doing things and you can get your uh, family fed quicker. Like I said, don't, don't try to pull your dough. Just kind of smash it down together, you know, to get the air bubble out. Just kind of smash it against the sides. That's all you want to do. Like I said, it will stay. Your pizza dough is cold whenever you take it out of the ice box. So, you know, it needs to want to do what it wants to do. And your hands kind of help heat it up a little bit where it doesn't want to pull away. As you can see, like I said, if you like making your own pizza dough, then go ahead and do that. But this is a little bit faster and you don't have to wait as long. If you have time, that's great. But a lot of people, you know, work and once they get off work, they don't really want to have to fuss with all that. As you can see, it's it's setting now. Okay, we're going to take and put this in our oven for six minutes. Please remember that all ovens uh, heat differently and they bake differently. In my oven, it's going to take six minutes. In your oven, it may take eight minutes. So keep an eye on your dough while it's cooking and everything. I have taken the pizza dough out of the oven so this is what it looks like. It was in my oven for six minutes. Now we're going to open our, our jar and you might get a can of pizza dough 
I mean pizza sauce and you know just put it on there however much you you like You just want to make sure you get it all over. This is going to be fast, simple, and easy. Now, some people like to put hamburger. Uh, they like to put just all kinds of stuff on them. We like pineapple and pepperoni pizzas, so, but I don't have the, pep the pineapple right now, so we're just going to do pepperoni pizzas. Some people like sausage pizzas. Always pre-bake, if you're going to use sausage or uh, any kind of meat that's not pre-cooked, make sure that you cook it before you put it on your pizza. A lot of people, uh, you know, think, well, okay, I, I want this or that, and they forget, oh, well, I've got to pre-cook stuff before I use it. Always pre-cook your meats. You could put them in your ice box, your freezer, or whatever, take them out and defrost them, and then they will be ready to go. All you got to do is just put it on your pizza. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle a mozzarella on the top. Some people just really like cheese. We like cheese, but only on our tacos, not on our pizzas. Now a lot of people can forgo the sauce if they don't like sauce. probably about six ounces of mozzarella. Okay. Now the assembly of the pepperonis. You're just going to lay them out however you like. until you get your pizza assembled. And we're going to do this until I get it all done. Because we like pepperoni. Like I said, you can mix, mix your meats as long as they are pre-cooked. You can add veggies, more cheese, uh, you can add fruit. You can add different kinds of cheeses. Or you don't have to add any cheese at all. It's just up to you how you like your pizza. Also, you can use Hormel pepperonis, or we use the Armor because the Armor doesn't seem to be as spicy as the Hormel uh, pepperonis are. There are milder pe uh, pepperoni. Now, 
Now, if you like, you have room, go back in and add some more pepperoni. It ain't gonna hurt. Just add it where you see that you might have an opening or something because pepperonis are so good. And like I said, they are a milder pepperoni than the Hormel. So at this point, we have enough pepperoni. We're going to take and put this back in our oven for eight to 10 minutes. We now have our pizza out of the oven. I hope everybody knows how it becomes old school pizza. I'm gonna tell y'all, it's the way you cut it. To make it old school pizza, you take, you come over, as so, and you cut it as so. This will make three pieces. Now, if you're old enough to remember, this is how you would have been served pizza back when you were probably, oh, I want to say in the 70s, maybe the early 80s. So, I sure hope that you enjoyed watching my video. And I hope that you will take and give it a like and share it out for others to see. Until next time, happy eating and thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. Bye.